and welcome back to my channel made with love my name is heather and today i am going to show you how i'm going to make a new wreath for my front door just hit you know christmas is done we're now into january um the uh, wreath on my front door is the grinch that i started last year i finally finished it this year so it's been up on my door um i'm just not quite you know ready to you know get into spring or valentine's quite yet for me i'm still into the winter stuff so I'd like to just make a better wreath for my front door and take the Grinch down. So I'm just going to start with this. It's a 12 inch willow wreath form. I bought this one at the Dollar Tree. So $1.25. So it's a pretty good size little wreath. And I've got some little picks here. I got this one here. It says I bought this from a thrift store for 50 cents. Well, this one uh, was attached to it. So I guess I got these two for these two for 50 cents at a local thrift store and I got this bundle here and I got this at a local thrift store it says 250 and then of course I got these ones here I forget what I paid but this one and this one you probably remember seeing these ones these ones I had put in my poinsettia Santa boot if you haven't seen that video that was a really fun one for me to make you know the Santa boots so I've got these two and then I've got some ribbon. I'm not quite sure what kind of ribbon I'm going to go for, but I've got some burlap, which I've got from Dollarama for $1.25. And I've got this gold and red and I got this other gold and orange. And these, one of these had a price. I got them at a local thrift store for 75 cents a roll I'm not sure they had another one here but i didn't like the color of it I think it was more of an orange really orange didn't think it matched so much with the gold but yeah that one had the price it was a local thrift store 75 cents a roll brand new so like i said shop your local thrift store shop you know like you can go to your craft stores walmart dollar stores you know when uh, summer spring hits and garage sales are back on i'll be checking out the garage sales i also have two of these little penguins i don't know where the other guy went he was just here i think he's behind my gnomes but i got two of these little penguins i might add them to the wreath i'm not quite sure yet and i'm gonna get some other little picks here those are just some leftover little bits of ones i've got this one and i have another one i just can't reach it so I'm just going to angle the camera down and take off the tags and get everything laid out for how I'm going to do my wreath and then I'll be right back. Okay, I've now got everything just laid out in front of me and I've kind of figured out what I'm going to use and what I'm not going to use. So I've decided this was in that big bundle. There's this nice little white flower here. I do like this, but I don't think I'm going to use it on this. It just, the flower just seems to be just so much bigger than the wreath. I really would like the willow wreath to be seen on my door. But this has these fake, uh, this artificial gold color fruit. I have a lot of fruit like that and a lot of little, these little berry picks. So I will probably just set this one aside and I'll probably put that in one of my other displays um, later on, probably around Easter time because I that's my colors for my Easter is the white and gold. So I'll save that one for Easter. As for these two little penguins, I did find the little guy. I've decided I don't think they're going to quite go with the color of this wreath. They're in gray and white, and I'm just going to stick to everything being gold for now. So I'm just going to put the little penguins aside and they can do in another craft. Um, decided probably not going to do the burlap ribbon and I'm probably not going to go with any of these ribbons. I think I'm going to find a thinner ribbon. I think these are just a little bit too thick for you know, this the thickness of this wreath to make a bow with. So I'm just going to have to find a different shade of gold ribbon. I've got lots of ribbon so that would be easy to do. Now I've got my hot glue gun here plugged in warming up i may not need it just depends on how weaving the stems through the willow wreath if i need it or not but i think i'm going to start with these big long ones so the best thing is you know you take the stems and try to bend them a little just bend the stems so you so they kind of want to curve like that it makes it so much easier to 
get them through the wreath form. Now these little flowers on here want to stick to my lace tablecloth. So lace tablecloth is not the best to have in a craft room, but it is the only tablecloth I have that I'm not using it currently. So it was. So I'm just gonna start to weave the branches of this through. Oops, totally missed getting through there. I'm just gonna weave the stem of this floral pick through here. And this has like the same color. I mean, it's almost like, I mean, it's a little bit different shade of brown, but it is like, you know, the brown on brown. You don't even notice that it's a different color. But it's gonna be well hidden in there. I'm just gonna keep getting this to come through until I get this lined up where I'd like to. I'll probably have to get my um, wire and put a piece of wire in here just to help hold this the floral down. I, so otherwise they're just going to flop down in front of here. So I will have to get my wire and my floral wire to help hold these in place. But I'll do that after when I get this. If I know I'll need it. I got that one gone this way. Like that. I really like how this will, it's hard to see. I'm just trying to angle this. So these can kind of come like this. I like how they kind of just hang down. So when this is hanging up on the door, these will just kind of hang down to the side. I like the way that looks. So I'm just going to do the same to this other one here. I'm just going to put got my gnomes caught to it. Okay, just, again, I'm just going to bend this stem a bit just so it will want to curve so I can weave it through as well. I'm going to weave this one through the opposite direction. Let's see. I've got... So I'm going to weave this one through the opposite direction so my wreath will, so the flowers will and cascade on opposite sides of the form here. for a second I've got this caught on I've got the stem totally caught through my tablecloth so I'll be right back okay sorry about that but yeah I got my I'm still getting caught on the tablecloth I moved the tablecloth as far back as I could but it's a glass tabletop and I've got stuff under the table it doesn't look so nice but yeah I've just got both these put th woven through the you know, willow wreath form so far. So I'm just gonna, this is gonna be the top up here. I'm gonna put a big bow up here. I'm just have to find which color of gold ribbon I'd like to do that in. I'm not quite sure if I want to have it more leaning this way or more centered. I'm not quite sure. Won't know until as I start adding more florals how I'm going to want to do it. Trying to move this tablecloth out of the way here. Okay, so I'm just going to lay it back down. Now I'm caught to my own shirt. This. These little things, they're it's like um, pipe cleaners. That's what they kind of feel like or look like. So they just get caught to everything. So I've got these other gold floral picks here. I'm just going to fan this one out. And see where I think I'd like to put this one. Maybe I'll put this one yeah, like under in here. I'm just going to weave this one through the form as, willow form as well. I'm just trying to get this to come through here and then I'm going to bend it back down through this way. And then See, I've got this other gold one here. It's they're all different, so it's both sides are going to be a little bit different looking, but it's still all the same shade of gold. So I'm going to put this one through about the same height. 
so kind of symmetrical but a slightly different you know, textures and leaf patterns. Oops, there's this going through. Okay, this coming through this way. I'm just gonna get this to come back up through the little form up here. One pick here. I'm just gonna see. Do I want to use the whole pick, or do I just want to take? Maybe I'm just gonna take these off of here. I think that's what I'll do. There's these three. If I can just pull this one off as well. There. Just put that stem aside. Out of these three, maybe I'll put them up here. Just kind of weave these through the form up here. Bend it down. Get another one up here. I'm going to poke it through here through the other side. And I've got one more. I don't want it to come down. But maybe I'll weave it through and it can kind of come down. Weaving it through. Weave that one through like that. Okay, so I've got those all woven through. So now the wreath is starting to look really good. It's starting to look a lot better than I thought it was going to look like. Really filling out. I'm just going to just pull this up a little bit so you can see. That's what it looks like so far. So I got these coming down. So I've got to fill in here. I was going to put a big bow up here, but I've put all these gold leaves up here now. So now I don't know if I'm going to add a bow to this or not. But I've got one more gold pick. One more gold pick here. It looks like uh, eucalyptus type leaves. Just going to see, see what do I want to do with this one. Let's see how many little branches. One, two, three. Four, five, six, eight, nine, I think maybe nine or ten little things. I think I'm going to just take this one apart as well. And I think I'm just going to, for these ones, I think I will just glue oh, this apart. I think I'm just going to glue these in around the bottom edge. So I'll just be right back because I just got to pull these apart. Okay, I just took a couple minutes just to pull all these off the, the long stem. See, a few years ago, I would never pull my florals apart because I always thought, oh, I'm going to wreck the florals and I'm not going to have, you know, just kind of, I'm just going to end up wrecking the florals and I'm not going to be able to do anything with it. But over the years, I've figured, you know, if you pull the florals of picks apart, you actually get more little pieces and it's so much easier to place a few small pieces than one long giant piece all the time. So I'm just going to figure out how I want to put these down in here. So I want them to kind of follow the form of the, just put the glue gun down because I'm not quite ready to glue these yet. I'm just trying to figure out, I just want these to kind of go with the flow of the wreath form here. So I'm just going to lay these down and just kind of figure out, oops, okay. Well, if they don't want to stay while I'm just laying them down, I'm just going to lay them on either side so I can kind of get a nice grouping so I know how many it's going to take to to fill in here and how many I've got. Four there. And four. So I can do five and five. Okay, I've kind of got them laid out. Like I said, I'm just going to move this so you can see. So my willow form, I know how big a uh, section I've got. So if I just take these and I just lay them out beside the form like this and I can see how I need to have these overlap so they can kind of make the semi-circle. 
like this. So I've got the right pattern. So when I just go to glue them in here, I know exactly where they're going to overlap. And then same with this other one. Got this other section here of these five. So if I just kind of make the same thing, just do a quick chain of five and five so I can kind of see how I'm gonna lay overlap them because these are a couple different, each one's a little bit different. The petals fall different directions. I think some are even a little bit, you know, a little bit smaller than other ones. It's hard to tell. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make this back here. Just fell. I don't know. Something just fell off the table. I don't know what. I don't see anything, but my puppy was just in here. I'm just gonna start here in the middle. So I'm just gonna put a dab of glue on here. I'm just gonna stick them in. That, and I'm going to put a little dab of glue up here and stick the top part in. So hold this for a second to let the glue set up. So it just does not want to attach. Just I just can't seem to get this to go into the into the form for some reason. Can't seem to get that to bend down. I can't seem to get that one to bend. Okay, well I've got a big blob of glue. Just gonna get rid of the little glue blob here. Okay, well. Stick one over here. seem to get them to glue. Maybe I can glue them together. Not sure. Oh, I know I've got enough. I can do five on the bottom and five on the top and it will actually cover the rest of this wreath form. Oh, I think I know what fell. I think my extra glue sticks is what had fallen. I have this trick where I put a little dab of the glue on the end of the glue stick and then you put it in and the glue stick kind of holds to itself so it doesn't fall out because when you sometimes you go to press the trigger the glue stick actually falls out. So there's a little trick I learned about a year or so ago. I forget who had mentioned it on their um, YouTube channel is watching. It's just a handy little trick and I've been doing it ever since. Some of these just don't want to stay where I want them to go. So it's going to take a little more glue to hold some of these in place. It's just because the this wreath form is just, it's an older wreath form. I've had this one for a couple of years. I've never used it yet. So it just kind of got damaged, just sitting, not being used, just sitting in the box with all my other wreath forms. It got a little damaged and tangled with other items. This just does not want to stick.
one just does not want to stick in there. So I'm just going to see if I can find a different one that's a little bit fatter and then see if it will, maybe if I put it through the other, maybe if I push it through the top. If I push it through up here, I can get it to go down through that branch. Maybe then it will want to stick. I don't know. I don't think so. No. Maybe that will stick now. I'm not sure. Just trying to get these to stick. And you know, sometimes the the glue just doesn't even just doesn't want to stick. I don't know. I bought some glue sticks. I thought it was a really good deal. It was one of the other dollar stores where I live and it was a cheaper price than Dollar Tree which I never thought you can find glue sticks cheaper than the Dollar Tree well now I see why they were so much cheaper I don't like them they really just I think this might be one of the last ones because I tried to use them up just because I didn't like them so I have not bought glue sticks from Walmart in a long time because last time I did that, I don't know, I, end up, I think they would just end up being more than Michael's actually. I think, I think Michael's might be the best place for glue sticks currently. And Dollar Tree's okay, they've got, you know, the glue sticks weren't good enough, but for you know, some of these ones like this, this one's here, I've got a lot of little glue strings and blobs and it's just not heating properly so i think they're just uh, not good glue sticks sometimes you try to save yourself a couple dollars by buying cheaper glue sticks and it just ruins your projects just doesn't look good there i'm just gonna pull this up just so i can see how these are sitting and yeah i'm these to end not like that. See if I can get them to glue to each other, maybe I can get them to hold. You know, see this amount of this glue strings I'm getting. I don't like these ones. So that dollar store I thought it was a good deal I will definitely not be buying the glue sticks from them but yeah gluing the leaves of the petals of uh, the sticks together seem to be yeah, I can get them to go where I want it to go that's good do a little bit of glue there and just stick it down like that there Too much glue. Okay. Well, try to get some cheaper supplies sometimes, and you know, sometimes you can get a good bargain. Sometimes it's not a good bargain. You know, but you have to try. Yeah, I'm really liking that gluing them, gluing the leaves together is really helping them stick right where I want them to go. To go here. Yeah, there, that's what I want. There. Now they're starting to go the direction I want them to go in. Things will just be just be on my front door for a few weeks. It's not going to be up too long because I said we're going to hit Valentine's in a couple weeks. So I'm going to be doing my Valentine ones and then my Easter one. So I just wanted something that wasn't, you know, it wasn't what I didn't really want like a Christmas one. I said right now I've got the Grinch up there. So I just wanted something different, but I wanted something still really nice to be on my front door. I'm just going to lift this up so I can see how it's looking. It's getting caught on my tablecloth. Like I said, I just need to get a better tablecloth. 
And then I can make the uh, final one, I think. Turn this around like this so you can see. I'm really liking how it's all coming together now. So if I'm angling it this direction, like from here to here, it's because the I'm in a bedroom, and so there's actually like a glass uh, closet door. So I'm just pulling it, I'm just kind of turning it this way so I can see that I've got it centered and everything just in front of me there. So I'm really liking how that is really looking now. I just have a couple more pieces to go on. I'm just going to put this to lay back down here. And I've got two more of these to glue on. I think I'm going to do one more up in here. And one more down at the bottom. And then I'm not sure about a bow yet. I was just looking at my different ribbons. I think I know what ribbon I'm going to make a bow with. Uh, just even if I don't do like a bow, but just something to hold. Something to kind of tie in up here because it's kind of got this big gap up here where all the florals kind of stuck together. So I'm just going to glue in the last two these little picks and I'll find the right ribbon and I will be right back. Okay, I'm going to use this ribbon. I've already cut it into those strips I need. I'm just going to do this overlapping, uh, really fast, easy way to make a bow. So you just have to fold it in half so you kind of get where the center would be. It really works good when it's ribbon or when the ribbon has um, the wire in it. That's what I meant. Wire ribbon works best. And you fold it and then you get this good crease and you just kind of fold this down to here and fold this into here. I just want to make sure you get kind of like two pretty good even size of so one, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, yeah, okay, that will make a one. So just to make sure I've got this right. I'm just gonna take my hot glue gun and I'm just gonna put a, a line of glue. Oops, glue gun got unplugged. Just gonna put a line of glue. I guess I gotta wait for the glue to reheat. So you put the line of glue down there and then you put fold the one side in, put a line of glue and you fold the other side over top. And basically you'll get that. And then when you just kind of squeeze it all together, you'll get a bow. Now you, when it's glued, it will all be you know, it's easier to work with when it's it's not glued so it's falling apart in my hand but you get the idea of how it's going to turn into the bow and then you just kind of like you know, put your fingers down and fluff it out. I do have one I've already made before. So you can see this one here. It's got the different layers to it so when you fluff it all out you get this nice big bow and you get these all these little tails going in but all it is is just you know it looks like it's one big hard to make bow but if you notice every layer is its own little piece so it's actually one two three four uh, those are the tails so it's like it's four bows and then a whole bunch of the tails and the tails were also just you know again you can see how we just got it all lined up here and then just kind of got all the tails just kind of draped across, you know, one, two, three, four tails. And then just one piece of the ribbon wrapped around. So when it's on something, then you get the tails go down and you fluff up the bow. This was off of a basket that I had that I took this off because I had the basket done a couple of years ago for Christmas, but I really liked the bow, so I just Put the, took the bow off and I redid the basket for uh, like a, um, autumn themed on my front doorstep and I filled it with like pine cones and stuff. So that is the type of uh, one I'm going to make. Now because my the wreath I'm working with I've got just such a small section 
So I'm just going to make four. I'm going to make them all about the same size. I'm going to overlap them like one boat going this way, one going this way, one going this way, and one going this way. So you get a big puffy bow for a small space. Okay, so that's what my glue gun should be. I think it's heated now. So again, I'm just going to make sure I get this folded in half because I don't know which piece this was. So I'm just going to make a crease. Just move this out of the way so you can see better. Just make a crease right there. Open it up. Put the glue gun. Just put a little line of glue right down the center. And then just fold it in on itself like that. And then just grab another glue stick here. Didn't, didn't get enough glue on here. Yeah, see, that's what happens sometimes. You know, that's why I do that little glue trick. Sometimes, even that, sometimes it still just pops out. And I'm trying to glue it down. Just get a good line of glue. And just get this to glue down. Try that again. Take off this extra bit of glue I just put on there. And just put another dab of glue on there. And just kind of push it in and hold it for a second. Okay, I'm just going to put a layer, another roll of glue right on top of this ribbon and fold it down like that. And you get like this. You see, it kind of looks like a figure eight kind of a thing, and you can just push your fingers in there and kind of fluff up the you know, edges or the curves part a little bit, so you kind of get that starting to look like a, a bow. I'm going to do that to all four pieces. I don't want to get glue on my tablecloth. I'm just going to do this to all four pieces. That's where my center will be. Put glue right down on that center line. Fold it over. And try to go as even as you can, straight as possible. And don't glue it to the table. And flip it over. And another line of glue. Fold it over. Okay, so you get like that figure eight kind of a pattern. I've got two more and I'll be back when I get the other two done. Okay, I've got all four made. So what you're going to do is you find where the, the back side is. I'm just going to fold it in half. And then you just fold this down like that, and you fold this side down like that, and you get this perfect little bow. I'm not going to glue it yet, because I've got to do all four of them. I'm just going to get all four kind of where I need them to be. I'm just going to see, I have a clip, so I just don't see my clip right here, but... Set this to the side because I've got it folded so I kind of see where the folds are. Like that. So I'm just going to do that to all of them. So you just kind of take the back side and you just fold it in, in half that way. And then you fold this this way and this this way. So you kind of get like that butterfly bow kind of a pattern. And I'm just going to crease it all directions like that so you end up like when it kind of like kind of get like an M or a W kind of a pattern I'm just gonna do that to all four of them so you just kind of so you just start with the back side fold it in half and then you just take the top part and you fold it down 
Flip it. Oh. And my camera just fell over. Uh, okay. Let's see. Okay, sorry. I bumped the table. My camera just fell over. Okay, so I'll start this again. So we've got this is where the seams are, so this is the back. So we're just gonna fold it in half. And then you fold it down and you turn it around and then you fold this side down. I'm just gonna crease all that because this is why it's great working with um, wired ribbon. It makes it so much easier. And then you get that bow butterfly shape. So, you know, it makes that perfect M when it's all creased. And the last one, just fold it in half and then in half again and flip it over and fold this down like that and just kind of press down to crease it. So you want to make sure that when you've done this that the your open edges are actually to the back where your seam is because I've done that where I've had it reversed and didn't even notice till I'm like finishing up my project that I've got some going the wrong direction. So I'm just going to go like this and then I've got all these other ones made here and it's great with the, I said the, this wired ribbon because then you can just kind of press everything back together. I just want to line it all up so I'm going to get this kind of changed kind of a bow. I said I was showing you this one here that had the different layers and I realized I cut all my pieces to the same length. These ones you have to have like an inch or two inches. I guess these are between one to two inches length difference between each side of the bows to make this type. So I'm just changing my idea for the way I cut the ribbon. Also this kind of ribbon was a little harder. That was really thin ribbon. This is actually thicker ribbon. So it's a little harder to make some bowls with some types of ribbon as well. But see, I'm just going to go like this. I'm just going to line this one up as well. So we're going to get a really nice big bow. That's three of them. I've got one more. And then I said, when I get this one done, then I'm going to hang this up on my door. And when I do that, I will also show the wreath that I have made in the past, like I think three or four years now, I've been making wreaths. I've got some hanging up, some I've actually made, but I've taken apart and reused the material for other wreaths. Some I didn't take apart because they were really hard to make or I really like them and I wanted to keep using them, so I've kept them. So now I've got this all like this. Now I just have to get my wire, which I seem to have dropped on the other side of the table I guess when my camera fell over so I will be right back as soon as I get the wire okay you can use any kind of wire I'm just gonna use a piece that looks like this uh, I get these from Dollarama they look like this it's called flexible wire picks they're really great for making wreaths and doing my florals and bows uh, it says you get 420 in a pack, and they're only $2. I live at the Dollarama. I've got these here in my hands. Oh, I'm just going to bend this. Oh, this may not work because it's maybe too thick, but we will see. I'm just going to twist it. If it's too thick, I may have to get the pliers and I think I'll need the pliers to do this. To really twist it good. So this is like I need a really extra big fat bow. See it's not gonna work. I'm gonna need to grab the pliers or I'm gonna have to just change something here because you know I forgot to glue these together. That might be part of the problem. So when you get them like this to help hold them together, right, see, I forgot. I always put a little bit of glue you know, up the sides inside here 
and just kind of hold, pinch that right there in the center. It kind of holds it together. And then the same, you can do at the back as well. Put a little dab at the back here and the back here. And you kind of just pinch it together and it will really hold the center together. And you just kind of flare these sides out. really helps to, you know, glue it that holds the ribbon together and it just know, makes the craft a little more finished. So there's two of them. Let's see. And if this isn't going to, if this wire isn't long enough, then I'll probably have to go grab the other floral wire, which I've got, or a pipe cleaner. I've seen a lot of women using the pipe cleaners for, you know, making their bows and florals and things. And like I said, right before I went to go get the the wire. I said, yeah, I'll do a quick tour of what I have hanging up for the wreaths I've made. So in my craft room, I've got 12, 13, I think. I think it's 13 hanging up. And then I've got the one on my front door. So like I take them apart to reuse the florals or I take them apart, you know, just to reuse the frame sometimes because I got the one that's a really big massive willow frame I think it's like a 28 inch willow form which uh, by itself is expensive so I took that apart it was I had for several years for Christmas okay these all this. I'm just gonna line all these up now. And just make sure they're all straight and centered and going about the right direction and See, that's going to be a big, massive bow. I think that's probably going to be too thick for my little wreath. Unless I can get these to come out a bit. I don't think I'm going to be able to. Let's see. I'll try this again with this. But I don't think I'm going to be strong enough to, to wire these together. I'll probably have to get... Uh, longer piece of wire for sure I'll have to get my um, pliers to, yeah, to, be able to bend this together because I cannot grasp how thick this is let's try a piece that's actually straight Yeah, but I'm thinking this might this might be too big of a bow for my wreath anyways, but I'm gonna try once more. Let's see if I can get these to get the two ends to hook over each other. And then I can get the pliers and really twist good with the pliers. And when I twist with the pliers, it really tightens and it's gonna pull everything together. So it's going to look something like that. And then, of course, you fan these out. But no, I'm thinking this ribbon is too thick. So I'm thinking I'm just going to go make it uh, two. I'm going to find two of the nicest bows. So I think it's these two here. So that will give me a nice bow, too. So maybe I'll do two bows on this. So I'm just going to attach this. Over here.
I get the fan bit out. So I want to kind of like bend the bottom one down a bit. I can bend the top one up. And pull them like that. There. That's starting to look more like the bow. There. That's what I want. I think two is good. I made four, but that's just, you know, two too many. So I'm just going to grab my um, little wire or my little pliers and I'll be right back as soon as I get this t uh, tied together. Okay, I've got the wire holding them together. Something happened here. Doing something kind of went crooked. Okay, but just to kind of hide the just to kind of conceal the wire, I'm just going to take a piece of this thicker ribbon I have here. I'm just going to glue it right around the center here. It'll just kind of hide my mistake with the wire. And it just kind of hides, like, you know, the center part here because it's really wide here. So I'm just going to glue this onto here. fix this because I've got these wired together like crooked. You can see you know, like it's when I was twisting so the wire's crooked and the ribbon is very crooked. So I will be right back. I gotta straighten that out and I'll be right back. Now this ribbon is a lot thicker than most of the other ribbons I have or I work with. You know, I'm just, I'm new to making uh, bows and mm, wreaths and stuff. So I think I've been making them for about two years, maybe coming into three years now. It hasn't been that many years. So I'm still learning how to do this. So if I... If I make a mistake, you know, I'm, I'm still learning too. Wire sharp. Okay, see, that's better. I've got that. That's a little bit straighter this time. Still just a little crooked there. Let's see, that's a little bit straighter. I think once everything is in place and then you fluff everything up. You're not going to notice it if it's a little bit off-centered. Okay, so I'm going to use this ribbon here to go into the center. It will kind of help even everything out. So I'm just going to put uh, some glue up here. I'm going to put this ribbon across up here. And pull it down. I think I'm going to need... scissors don't want to cut so like that it's probably gonna be more ribbon than I really need but that's okay just gonna put glue on this ribbon and wrap it up and put glue on oops need a glue stick now some glue right here and wrap down cut this I don't know if that these were like brand new scissors maybe these aren't my new scissors okay put some glue right there just hold it up that. So we got, looks like that now. Mm, it's really starting to look crooked. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Uh, I 
like I said, I'm not sure. So I had it centered, but I don't know. Let's see. Ah, it looks, I don't know, it looks crooked. To me, it looks straight, but when I'm looking at it in the camera, it looks crooked. I'm not sure. Okay, so I'm just going to pull this over a little. Just, I guess I'm just going to leave it like that because I just don't want to do any more. I'm just going to fluff this end out, fluff this one up, and do the same thing here. Just fluff this one and fluff this one. See, when I do that, it's starting to look really, kind of looks a little crooked. I'm just going to pull those together. Just, well, that's about as straight as I think I'm going to make it today. I don't know. I think I'm just going to give up and just say, ah, just, I think that's as straight as I can make it. I don't know what I did wrong. I, I, I've got my little mat here and I was measuring and one, two, two, yeah, I'm off by less than, let's see, it should be there. I'm off by, I don't know what that measurement would be, I, how is this in inches, that's why I'm having trouble. Flip it this way so I can see it in, in centimeters so I can see how crooked I am because I thought I had it right. This one should be at seven. Yeah, I'm off by half a centimeter, but you know, I don't know, maybe, I don't know, I'm not going to be able to get this any more straight today, so I'm just going to leave it like this for now. I will play around with it later. I just want to finish making my bow. I'm just going to pull this down, pull this one up, kind of get this pulled out like that, get this one to pulled out like that. And try to get this one and this one them to get pulled. See, I think if I pull it, I can probably straighten it now. I don't think so. I think I can kind of work with this and bunch it together. Just kind of twist it and get it to look a little more even there. There, that's looking more even. Like that. So I've got this bow. Looks like this. So actually, that looks a lot better now. I can see it. Still a little crooked, but not as bad as it was a minute ago. So for this, I'm just gonna grab this other uh, this ribbon that matches the center one, and I'm just gonna put just gonna glue it onto the back here so I can get the nice long tails and decide how long I want the tails to be, which I can't do unless I've got this attached to the to my wreath. I don't want the tails like this long. That's way too long for the size of my wreath. I'm thinking, let's see the size of my wreath. I'm thinking maybe that long of a tail. So let's see, that would be, I think maybe 14 centimeters would be good. Let's see, that works out too. I don't know. I'm not very good at doing inches. Let's see, six inches. Uh, six inches is, let's see, almost 16 centimeters. I don't know. I'm having trouble reading these little little chart. I've got glitter is stuck to it. So I'm 
I'm just going to stick with inches. I think I'll just make it a six inch tail. So that means I need to cut my piece at about 12 inches. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, yeah. Twelve inches. I'm doing this upside down too on my little mat here. So I'm just gonna cut this here. Like that. And then I'm just gonna do a little fold it like this. And then I'm just gonna glue, just gotta find the front and the back. I'm just going to glue this to the back like that, and that will be the tail. So I'm just going to take the hot glue, just glue a stripe, a strip across like that. Glue this right across there. Then open this up and just glue right along that crease line and fold it back down on that crease line. And I get the tails that kind of do that nice like off center to each other and there is my bow I will dovetail the ends but I'm gonna wait till this glue hardens and I've already got and I've get it attached to the wreath so I'm just gonna pause right now I'm just gonna grab my wreath and I'll be right back okay I've got my wreath in front of me so I know right where I want to have this I'm just gonna line this up right up to the top here but I've got this one pick that I had put here and I had it coming straight down. Uh, it's going to block the view of the bow for right now. So I'm just pulling that out so I can just, you know, I kind of need the, to see where the bow is going to go. And then, yeah, I don't think I'll need that coming down because it's just going to be totally hidden behind this bow. I'm just going to take my hot glue, I'm just going to put lots of glue on the back of this ribbon. And I'm just going to glue it right down in the center up here. Make sure I'm actually attached to the wreath form. Yes, I am. more glue there. I'm just going to hold this down a little longer. I'm just going to lift this up towards me so I can just make sure that I've I'm not gluing it to anything but what I want it to be glued to. Right there. Okay. And as for this little pick here, I do want to put this back in. But I'm not sure exactly where. Let's see. Up, buffer. A little more up in here, maybe. Yeah, I guess I think I like that. I'll just kind of push this back through under here. Oops. Back up through here. There, so I get some... Oops. Got to turn it the right way. So I get some more of these gold right up... Gold leaves right up above the bow. So I'm just going to angle the camera up so you can see. There's the bow. And I just knocked my camera over again. I am not very good at this being a camera person today. Okay, so I'm just going to angle that like that so you can see. these here. I'm just going to push them like that so you can see them a little bit better. Like that. Okay, so now all I have to do is I just have to dovetail the ends of my bow. And so to do that, 
just gonna grab my other scissors here. So I'm just gonna take this, I'm just gonna fold it in half, and I'm just gonna cut it on a diagonal to get the dovetailed. Now one time I was doing this dovetailing and I folded it right, but then I cut from the wrong corner to the wrong corner, so I got this backwards dovetail, and I couldn't figure out why I was cutting, how I was cutting to do that. And by the time I figured out that I was cutting it backwards, I had no tail left to cut. And I had to give I had to cut myself a new piece of ribbon. I've seen people do this dovetailing so fast, but if you're new to it, it is hard to do sometimes. But it's pretty quite it's pretty simple. I'll make another bow another day and I'll get a better shot of me doing the dovetail. But all I did is just fold it in half like that and I just cut on a diagonal. Or if you really want, you can actually just uh, you can actually just cut both sides up to make the point to meet each other. But there we go, that's my wreath. I'll be going and hanging it on my front door and then I will show you what it looks like on my front door. And I said I'll do a quick glance around my craft room so you can see all the other um, wreaths that I have made. So I'll be right back. Okay, so there is the wreath hanging on my front door. Uh, tipped a little crooked. I will straighten that in a moment. I'll have to straighten that out a little bit later. Um, don't know, it just wants to tip that way. It's just the way it's kind of heavy on the frame. But here is the, oops, I just wrote. There is the Grinch puppy move. Grinch wreath that I made. It took me two Christmases to do all that mesh work. So I was trying to start it last year. I never got it hung up until this year. Back in my craft room and I'm just showing quickly all the different wreaths I've made. So way up at the top I've got my little turkey harvest. I've got my poinsettia. I have my little uh, um, Thanksgiving autumn colors. And this one here, it's quite big. It was my um, leprechaun. He's missing his little cool sunglasses. They got broke. Um, I made this little 3D pumpkin. I actually found the 3D pumpkin wreath in the fall. And those batteries actually go way up here to Pennywise. He's, he lights up, his eyes glow red. Um, I did the, I did all the, the mesh, my eldest daughter actually painted his face. It's really creepy looking in the dark when it's all lit up. Even when it's not lit up in the dark, any, you know, a little flash hits his white face and it's really creepy looking. Uh, this is just another little fall one or spring, I don't know, fall or spring one I had made. Uh, there's the Valentine one I made a couple years ago. Scan across. Now that's the tree. Okay, this is the big autumn one I made. I was really impressed with that one. I made this uh, past fall. Uh, that was the big uh, willow wreath. I think it, uh, it's like a, nearly, I think it's 28 or 32 inch form. When it's complete size, it's the largest, I think it's over 40 inches wide. So it's a really massive frame. This here is the first one I made for spring, so like it was two or three years ago now. Uh, I have redone this one a couple years. It was hanging on the door for so long that you know, the wind and rain and snow got at it. And I just, you know, I, uh, so I was just changing out the different plaques in it. So it could be like an Easter, it went right from Easter right through I did the spring, you know, Easter, summer, and into the fall that year. And then up here, I've got these two snowflake ones I made last year. The forms for them are actually those, um, believe it or not, actually just hangers. I think they're made out of like six or eight hangers each. I can't remember now. I believe it was eight hangers to make the four points. They were actually supposed to be one. 
but I did something and it, the one didn't look being together it didn't look right so I kind of took them apart and I kind of made two out of it so yeah, that's the and then of course the one I just took off my door right now the Grinch so he'll be hanging up on my wall soon then the one I just made is hanging on my door now so I'm really having fun I'm just gonna do this here I'm really having fun making the wreaths they're just really fun to learn to make and doing the different types of the different mesh like uh, most of these are made with a deco mesh of some kind I haven't done a burlap one yet I don't think I know I have one that had a bit of oh I know a little bit of burlap would be this uh, on my leprechaun I tried doing the burlap bubble wrap one whatever it's called and I just I'm having trouble figuring that one out so I plan on making that one pretty soon so I just again to say thank you everybody for watching my video and please subscribe to my channel uh, I hope you enjoy watching me learn uh, you know watching me teach you how to do crafts as I'm learning how to do crafts at the same time I'll see you in my next video thank you bye